Hello YouTube, this is Killican, and today I'm chiming in on a hot topic I've been meaning to touch on for a long time. Money! Or more accurately, the famous or infamous printing of In God We Trust on American Currency. The big controversy being the notion that the mere mentioning of the Judeo-Christian deity on anything having to do with the government somehow makes America a maniacal Iranian dictator theocracy straight out of Oliver Cromwell's darkest fantasies. If you even know who Oliver Cromwell is, this topic is unique in that it is one of the rare occasions in which the American Democratic Party actually pretends to give a crap about Americans' constitutional rights. Oh, don't worry, I won't recite the First Amendment for you, nor will I even begin to debate on whether or not administratively separating church from state means banishing the mere mention of God from society on par with a Stalinist police state. But I am going to ask you a question. Is religion simply believing in God? To answer that, let's take a look at one of my favorite historical figures, Abraham Lincoln. The man said himself he believed in God, he said his prayers and read the Bible every day, never once stepped foot in a church. This is an example of being spiritual, not religious, although the two are often confused for each other. Religion isn't merely believing in a god, it's an organization dedicated to specific beliefs and practices revolving around a belief in one or more deity. Do our coins and bills say, in Jesus we trust, in Yahweh we trust, in Allah, Buddha, Shiva, the Emperor of Japan? No, just God. Some might argue this is just the default name of the god of Christendom. Perhaps, but without specific endorsement of images and sacred text of one of the various denominations, the only thing being combined with state here is spirituality, not religion. Especially considering half of the one dollar bill is adorned with the sigil of a Carthaginian deity who demanded a firstborn barbecue in exchange for helping Hannibal cross the Alps to make the Romans say uncle. And boy did that one ever backfire. Thanks for watching, people. Peace out.